On June 18th, my husband gently woke me up with a warm bagel and his homemade cream cheese. After breakfast, I forced him to get more rest because he'd woken up at 5 to go buy the bagels. And while he slept, I was on a mission to get the house in tip-top shape. But first, I had to check all the plants in my garage. Right now, I'm propagating citrus, dragon fruit, and growing dozens of tomatoes and peppers for fall planting. When I got back inside, I started with the kitchen. It's the one place that drives me nuts when it's messy. There was a lot of scraps that needed to be composted. I have worm bins in the garage, but I'm also trying to be more diligent about composting outside. I find it a lot more difficult for myself to compost outdoors just because it's so hot outside that every time I open the door to the backyard, it feels like the heat smacks me in the face the same way the oven door does whenever you're baking anything. And every time I go outdoors, I get distracted by the garden. In the fall and winter, this could be a problem, but in the summer, I can only last outdoors for a few minutes because the UV index is dangerous and the heat is unbearable. And because I'm not outdoors quite as often, there's spider webs everywhere. So every time I'm walking through the pathways, I either have a stick or something in front of me trying to make sure I don't walk into one. Because I have in the past, and let me tell you, the neighbors five blocks away can hear me screaming whenever that happens. After getting my babies ready, I started on my hair. I haven't used heat on it in so long that I felt scared to burn myself with a curling iron and thankfully I didn't this time. Time was already running out when I started my makeup because we had to be at my father-in-law's by 2 p.m. And my husband and I are complete opposites. He is always on time and I am always the one running behind. So I rushed out the door and decided to finish getting ready in the car. This is the final outfit. I realized that it ties on the side and I'm just gonna finish up my hair in the car. Right before we arrived, I decided to take out the rollers and ripped out half of my hair in the process. The hair made me a couple inches taller and I was so unused to it that I felt a little bit uncomfortable for the first few minutes but after some time it started settling down. And we got there just in time which was surprising because we are infamous for almost always being late. And that's because we always cook our own meals to bring over because we eat plant based so if they're making tacos we make plant based tacos or whatever the dish is. But in this case we weren't cooking so we got there right on time. And I appreciate the fact that my father in law always tries to accommodate what we eat. He made a delicious meal of macaroni salads, steamed rice mushrooms and peppers and a coconut cream fried plantains and tostones mm. when we got back home i started on dinner because i knew my husband was craving sushi and he kept telling me not to make it because he knows it takes so long and he didn't want me to work so hard on this day but i was like dude it's father's day you deserve sushi you deserve whatever you want so Sushi it was. Can I help you? No, you relax. I can help you. Whatever it is you need me to do, I can do. And for dessert, my husband surprised us with a pineapple ice cream dessert he saw on TikTok. It might be too frozen too. Yeah, I have to let it eat myself. <laughs> Overall, it was an amazing Father's Day.